So, you found out that one of your favourite movies is not available on Blu-ray in your country, but it is somewhere else in the world. Well, usually you'd be out of luck, but you can go region free with your Blu-ray purchases. Now, if that sounds confusing, in this video I'm going to explain what region locking is, how to get around it, and lastly I'll look at some multi-region Blu-ray players. So do stick around for all of that. Hello, my name's Elliot and this channel is all about collecting Blu-rays. I hope everyone is doing very well. I'm currently here in England, it's lockdown, it's winter, hence the beard, but I'm continuing to watch great movies and I couldn't do that without a region-free Blu-ray player. So I'm going to tackle a number of things in this video and I will leave timestamps down below in the description so if you don't want to know about what region locking is you can just skip straight to the bit about getting multi-region Blu-ray players. Let's get into it shall we? So what is region locking? Well you may have noticed on the back of the Blu-rays that you've purchased in the past that there is a little symbol on the back of the case. Blu-ray discs are typically region locked based on the country that they are produced in. So for example a disc made in North America will be a region A disc whereas a disc made in the UK will be a region B disc. There are examples where there are discs that are A, B and C so you don't have to worry about region locking but those are not as common as discs that are region locked. But what does it mean? What does it mean for a disc to be region A rather than region B? Well for that we need to look at the hardware itself. So I'm talking about the Blu-ray players that we have in our homes. There is a certain firmware on a Blu-ray player that locks that player to playing discs only from that region that the player was manufactured for. So why is it that you can't buy a region A Criterion Collection disc for example and play it straight out of the case on a UK region B player. Well this has a history going back to the early days of DVD when there were also region codes on DVDs as well but it was numbers rather than letters and it's mainly to protect the right holders of the content that is on a disc and also to promote competition within different regions of the world. So to break it down for you I'm going to use an example of a film in my collection and I've just picked a random disc off the shelf here. It's called Barry Lyndon and this is the Criterion Collection release from North America. So this is a region A locked disc and it will only play on a player that can play region A discs. Now the rights holders to Barry Lyndon the movie have many different licenses for the movie around the world. So you will find that there are Blu-ray discs available in Europe, for example, which are not the Criterion Collection disc, it's another distributor who has made up a Barry Lyndon Blu-ray and is selling it on the market. This is good for both the rights holders and the people in the local industry because Say for example there was just one edition of Barry Lyndon in the entire world and it was this Criterion Collection disc but it was produced in every country in the world. People would have the choice because of how globalised the economy is. People could buy the disc from the cheapest location in the world. So you may see for example Blu-rays that are sold in India could be much cheaper than Blu-rays that are sold in North America or in the UK and that would instantly make people want to import them from India at really cheap prices and ignore the local economy and the local companies releasing the disc. So when a film can be released by different distributors all around the world in different countries with these region codes locked to the discs this is great for the rights holders, it's great for the companies releasing the discs and it's, it's only really not that great for the consumer because it limits our choice but for the industry it's great. So number one way to get around this and this might be the cheapest option is simply to buy a second Blu-ray player 
from the other region. Say for example you're in the US and you want to play region B discs. Well all you would need to do is buy a player manufactured for England for example and just import it to your home and have two players in your home setup. Do have a look into it yourself because I do know there will be some differences like the power connections will be different of course and there may be some electrical differences I don't know so do have a look into that yourself but I think that's potentially the cheapest option. Another cheap option is if you have a computer with an optical disk drive that can play blu-ray discs then you can play discs from any region on a computer. Sometimes you need certain software, but that is one way to get around it. Particularly, I know that some people like to rip the content from the Blu-ray discs uncompressed onto their computer. That's a way to get around region coding because at that point you're not playing the disc, you're playing the digital file that you just ripped. So that is another option if you have a Blu-ray drive in your computer. But the main option and probably the thing that everyone is here for is to just get a multi-region player. A player that can do everything in one box and it sounds magical. But why is it so difficult to work out what to buy, where to get it from and is it even legit? So here's something that's not particularly obvious. The companies that make Blu-ray players around the world, so big ones such as Sony, LG, Panasonic etc. These companies do not make a multi-region player out of the box. This is because of those region code restrictions from rights holders that I mentioned before. These companies have contracts in place that say that they will not produce a player that can play discs from other regions. So that is locked into their contracts somehow. I'm not an expert. I'm not an insider from these companies. What this means is that any multi-region player that you come across has been modified. So it has been modified by a third party and then this third party business sells those players on the secondary market. The multi-region player that I have is an Oppo UDP203. That player was modified and the store that I bought it from they sold it as modified for an extra cost. What you will find with all of these multi-region players that have been modified is that to play a disc from another region you first have to input a code into your remote control to actually activate the player as that region. So it's a bit of an inconvenience but I don't actually know any players that get around this. There's always some kind of code or button that you have to press on the remote to actually switch to the other region. So for the next part of this video, I'm going to hop over to my computer. I'm going to take you with me. I'll show you my screen and we'll have a look on Amazon at some of the options for region free players and we'll have a look at the US Amazon and the UK Amazon just to cover as much ground as possible. Hopefully after this you'll get a good idea on what to look out for in buying your own multi-region player but I will include links to the players that I'm going to look at now in the description below and of course if you click these links and purchase one of these players it does help support the channel at no additional cost to you. So I'd be thankful if you use those links if you are looking to buy a multi-region player. Anyway, let's get over to the computer and let's have a look at some players. So we're here at my desk and on my computer, I'm going to show you some of the Blu-ray players that are multi-region that you can buy right now on Amazon. Now I should say as a disclaimer that I don't own any of these Blu-ray players, but these are perhaps some of the ones that I would be looking at if I was in the market to get a multi-region player right now. Anyway, let's just get on looking at Amazon. So I'm on the homepage of Amazon now, and I'm just going to type multi-region Blu-ray player, and we'll see what comes up. So if we go on this one, this is a Sony player, BDP S3. 700. Down here they are saying that it plays Blu-ray region A, region B and region C. Now something that's important to note that I've seen people get caught out on before 
is they buy a Blu-ray player that is said to be region free. But when they buy it, they realize it isn't region free. And the only thing that was region free was playing DVDs on the Blu-ray player. So that's something to be careful of because you don't want to buy a Blu-ray player and find out it can only play region free DVDs because you want it for playing Blu-rays. Something that is worth noting as well is that when these third party companies have gone in and messed with the hardware and the firmware, that voids any manufacturer's warranty. So say for example, you buy a multi-region Blu-ray player from Amazon here and you realize that it doesn't work or say for example in a year's time it just breaks and the player just doesn't work you can't take that back to Sony and Sony will not replace it because the fact that the Blu-ray player has been opened and tinkered with that voids their warranty. I do know that some of these third-party sellers so for example this is from a company called Dynastar they do tend to offer their own warranty. So if you have a problem with the player that they have modified, they will often replace the player for you. So yeah, so we can see from this one, one of the things to be careful of is look at the different options here because they may not all be region free. Some of them may be misleading. So what I'll do is I'll have a look at another one on amazon.com and then we'll, we'll hop over to amazon.co.uk to see uh, what's on there. So we've had a look at that Sony player and I will link to that down in the description if it looks like one that you want to have a look at. You can click the link and take a look for yourself. Now I found this other one, this is an LG player. You can see that this LG BP175 is currently $149 on the US Amazon. But if you have a look for that player elsewhere on Amazon, the same model, LG BP175 is $80. Now, this is obviously the unmodified player. So you're, you're paying an extra $60 to have it modified, or $70 even, to have it modified to play all regions. So do be careful that if you, for example, were looking at the LG BP175 multi-region and you thought, oh, I'll get one cheaper, well, no, because this is the unmodified standard Blu-ray player. So do be careful. So anyway, on this Amazon listing for the multi-region LG player, it says 100% region free guaranteed and it's got the A, B, C. So by all means, this is a multi-region player that you could go for. So looking at the description, you want to make sure that it says region free and that it explicitly says Blu-ray region A, region B, and region C, and not just DVDs from any of the eight regions. Someone here is saying it works great. They decided to get a region-free Blu-ray player so that you could get a much cheaper region B disc of a show. Um, and that's what I was talking about earlier, the difference in price in different regions. That's the whole reason they're locked, is to avoid this kind of thing. But, you know, if we can get around it, we'll get around it. And for my UK friends, let's have a look on amazon.co.uk. So again, I'm just going to search multi-region Blu-ray player and we'll see what pops up. And I think it's going to be fairly similar stuff. So this LG model, for example, this is, I don't think this is the same model as the US one we just looked at, but it, it looks exactly the same. It's that same brand. Dynastar, so it's the same brand operating in different countries. And again, I imagine if I just have a look for this LG BP250 here in the UK, we will find one much cheaper, but it won't be the multi-region. So here you go. Here is the LG BP250, and it's only £55 compared to 134 now, what I'm I'm not suggesting you go and buy the £55 one. I'm saying that will not be multi-region because what this company, Dynastar, have done, they have bought a load of these cheap players for £55 or perhaps cheaper from their supplier. They have modified them and they're now selling them for a higher price on Amazon. So again, like the US players, you can see here it says, plays Blu-ray region A, B, plus C. This would probably be 
the player that I would go for now. But we'll just go and have a look at some more players. So if you didn't want to get that LG player, here is a Sony BDP S1700. I think this was the same one we looked at in the US. And again, you can clearly see from this image that they're advertising region A, B and C. They are offering a three year warranty. So again, it says here regions A, B and C. Those were the two players that I would go for. If you're in the UK, you're going to be looking at around this price point of £140. So just have a look, see which what kind of one you would go for. And if you want to buy one of these and support the channel, I'll include those links down below. There you have it. That's about everything I can think of to do with multi-region players and going region free. So I do hope it's been helpful. I hope that it's been able to clear up some of the confusion about what region codes are, why they exist, you know, what the purpose of them is. And also I've shown you some players there. So if you're in the market for a player, do go and check those out through the links below. And if you like the look of them, um, purchase them and you'll be able to watch Blu-rays from anywhere in the world. If you want to stick around on the channel, just click one of the videos that's on screen now because you can get more recommendations for Blu-rays and 4K Blu-rays, etc. I'll be back very soon with more videos on Blu-ray collecting. So until then, stay well and keep watching great films.